I've met my friend Doug McMartin from Cornell, and um, well, it's pretty it's pretty worrying that there aren't many people here talking about the numbers of, about climate change and what we what we really have to achieve. Don't you reckon? Yeah, I I sort of feel like the elephant in the room is the fact that if you look at where we are now and where we're headed, it's like there's this disconnect between the goal of like one and a half or even two degrees and what we actually know how to achieve. But they're talking about they're talking about meeting this goal of two degrees by 2050, when there are plenty, perhaps most climate scientists around, they say, we're going to be well over two degrees by 2050. We, we may be at two degrees by 2030, and yet the technologies, the, the infrastructure that they're thinking of putting in place at this meeting won't be ready by 2030. I saw, I did actually see some numbers on Monday, people actually put up carbon budgets. They didn't really emphasize the details of like, we're not far off blowing by the total cumulative carbon we're ever allowed for a one and a half degree target. Yeah. And by 2030, we'll be well past the two degree target in terms of the carbon, yeah. whether we've actually hit two degrees or not. By so so what, what, are the, what are the technologies that we need to be talking about that, that we're not talking about at this meeting? So every single scenario that people has just assumes this magic at the end of the century. They label the magic BEX, right? Is, Bioenergy with carbon capture and sequestration. So that's the, the idea then is you've got, uh, you grow trees and you create the energy, you burn the trees in a, in a power station and then you take the CO2 out of the flu and you sequester it. Yeah. And that's... Sounds easy, right? Yeah, but don't we have to handle something like 10 billion tons of CO2 per year to yeah. make this have even a small effect? So some people have sort of, some people have basically just described this as the fudge factor. It's like your models can't get to two, de your economic models don't get to two degrees. And so you look at the difference and you just say, oh, well, we'll just make that up with Bex. But yeah. if you look at it, we, you know, we have to be pulling out gigatons of CO2 within a couple of decades at the early latest. But don't you find that acronyms like BEX, is so, they're so short. Label, yeah, you just give it an acronym, it sounds yeah, exactly. good, right? You can say, oh, we can just use BEX. Yeah, yeah. And uh, makes it easy. And the level that's in some of these scenarios is like planting half the U.S. with bioenergy crops just, just for like maintaining the, uh, the, the two degree target. Well, we're, we're, we're hosting a uh, climate change uh, lecture series in awesome. Cambridge, um, February and March. Do you, did you know a chap called David Mackay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, yes. well, so... Awesome. Wonderful, wonderful man. Well, he, he, died, he died in April this year, so we're going to have this first Cambridge climate lecture series in his memory. It's going to be live streamed internationally. We hope to get a big following. We want to get big names involved. Uh, and we hope to do it every year. So our climate change lecture, lecture series starting in February 2017 hopefully will be a big thing. I think that's a great idea and I couldn't think of somebody better to do it in their honor. Because well, great. he was yeah. always about like putting the nice simple math down and saying here's where we are, here's where we need to be. and.